Who I have a fair picture of myself? Yeah. Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Carl, a lot of people know, some people don't know, but I used to be a male model back in my past life. Mm. I, it's almost like, it's almost like when I used to do photo shoots and afterwards, they're like, oh, the, 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 the photos came out excellent. It came, it didn't come out helpless, skeptical, skeptical. Um, it came out excellent and I look at it, ah, you know, that self-criticism, so I'm like, yeah, I shouldn't have, my lips shouldn't be like that, or I shouldn't have looked to the right, I should look straight. Um, so, it's almost like I wouldn't have a favorite picture of myself, because I'm always judging myself. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, but I, I, I feel like that I can always be better. Thank you. All right. <laughs> well, that's really easy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So obviously, everyone in know that I love Halloween. Oh. And I think I've been there, done that with real estate. I love real estate. It's my comfort zone. I've been doing it for years. It's very gratifying to help clients and get them to the finish line. Love that part. But I also love the creative side. My left brain is on overdrive all the time. So I would love to create and just be in that Halloween moment all the time and just do incredible things that I think I was put on this planet for. <laughs> Sit. What was your favorite of the game, Mark? <laughs> a lot of helter skelter going on in my mind. <laughs> I would say Hungry Hippos. Hungry Hungry Hippos. Nice. It's a game where the hippos protrude out from their side of the board. And they're trying to get, uh, grab a lot of marbles. And there's not necessarily a ton of skill involved. You're just you know, smacking the hell out of the, the little box to make it get the marbles, and my family, I'll give a little bit of a table game war between myself, my sister, a lot of things thrown, a lot of hurt feelings, <laughs> that was my favorite table game growing up, and made some great memories doing it. Thank you. <laughs> All jobs came the same. What did you do, Alexander spent to you? Morning. So, if all jobs are the same, I'd probably go with my passion, which is soccer. Ever since I was growing up, uh, my dad taught me how to play. It's always been in the family. So the problem with that, obviously, would be skills. Um, it's kind of kind of hard to get into as a professional. Uh, however, I feel like if you work hard and you have a passion for it, you can obviously get there to the top. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of helter skelter going on right now since it's my first table topic. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I appreciate that for seeing me, Thank you. All right. If your life were a play, would it be a comedy, a musical, or a drama? Raul Pavon. Uh, no. Morning. 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 So if my life would be a play, it would definitely be a comedy. Mm. So. Youngest sibling. I don't know if there's any younger siblings here, but I was the metaphoric punching bag of my family. <laughs> I was a big, chubby kid. Middle school, I was about 300 pounds. It was, yeah, I was crazy. So I lost a bunch of weight, and just growing up, it was just, I was the butt of all the jokes. I got picked on a lot. But now I'm 
lovelier and stronger than the rest of my siblings. <laughs> 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 well, a lot of you don't know this, but I was a male model. My <laughs> <laughs> car matches my personality. Honestly, my jeeps. I, I'm, I'm kind of infamous for driving really old, beaten up jeeps. I drive uh, mid '90s Jeep Cherokees. I love them. I was driving them before they were cool again. Which, if you didn't know it, they're actually a desirable car right now. They're collectors' cars. There's a whole market out there of people buying them and restoring them. I bought them because they were cheap and easy to fix, and I kind of like the body style. Now I have three of them, 97, 98, and 99. None of them are fully restored, but they all run really well. <laughs> and I enjoy them. And you'd be shocked at how many people will stop and ask me at a gas station, hey, you want to sell that car? Are you crazy? It took me months to buy the beater. I'm not going to Hmm. First crash, wow. Holy cow. That was it? That's a long time ago, man. She had red hair. She had freckles, so it was awesome. And her name was Melanie Sawyer. Mm. Melanie Sawyer. And I saw her after I was in my 20s. And I'm like, yeah, that was a good choice as a kid, too. She was, she was just, you know, like Stacy's mom. She had it going. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was, I didn't have that many crushes as a kid. I was what? too busy, you know, like Raul, you know, I, I was ducking the bigger guy. It was rough. So, a little helter-skelter with that kind of love life. Yeah, it's really. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, thank you, thank you for reminding me of all the things I couldn't have when I was growing up. What is your most prized possession, Gary Evans? Most prized possession? Mm. Uh, I could say my dogs. Actually, my most prized possession would be you know, anything that I have related to Halloween. In fact, <laughs> someone, Linda Miller, and I just went to a Halloween trade convention. Oh, what now, what in the mean? true definition of the word helter-skelter, the two of us were like kids in a candy store. We couldn't be in a booth long enough because we would see something over here and go, wait, what is this? What is that? One of my favorite possessions to this day is a mask that I had since I was a little kid. It's what started me down the wanting to decorate for Halloween path, and it is still an inspiration to this day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure. Sure. Have you ever lied to someone you love? Yes. Why or why not? Who? Oh. I thought it was Austin Moore. Oh, there we go. Austin. You're a I couldn't read the name. Austin Moore. Yeah. yeah. All right. Have you ever lied to someone you love? Yeah. Oh, did I? Uh, and I think, wow. Um, so, <laughs> the people we care for in this world the most are also the people that we want to protect. Yeah. So, that's a kind of duty to provide them truths, but also to provide them mental stability. That's my point. To guide them for the ones that need to be guided, and to maybe not let people know exactly all the bad things that we've done. When I was a kid, I would constantly get be a little bit mischievous. There was not a lot of uh, parental supervision. <laughs> um, and there was, uh, Short, 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 yes, yes, definitely have. Uh, but for
for a good reason. <laughs> What are you pretending not to know? Laura? I'm sorry. What are you pretending not to know about the program? It's okay. Oh, she was. No. Oh, yeah, come on. Did she have a question? She's pretending not to know she's on the program. Well, no, not the program. I'm not saying you have to know the answer to this. I hate when you're sitting there and you know every other answer to every other question. I do not know exactly what I'm pretending not to know. I'm going to take yours. My favorite game as a kid is Clue. Who loves Clue? And I, I always won. I felt like I was really good at it. I was like reading everybody's body language, like looking at everybody's cards, observing everybody's questions, and I always won. So Clue is my favorite game. I challenge anybody to it. I will have <laughs>